her out on a jaunt. I have lots of good luck when she comes out on a trip with me. I've been bribed with hot chocolate. She's so cheap. Price of fame that I have to pay. <laughs> you can edit out the sounds. Like you talking across my, my shot. Like the sculpture. Yeah. Where are the horses you promised me? I don't see any. That's, that's the part of the problem. This is how I'm interpreting, 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 <laughs> interpreting this landscape. There are the paraphernalia of horses, like jumps, right over there. And there. Yeah, but. This landscape, I mean, I'm going to interpret it artistically and I, you know, and I'm going to interpret it functionally. Without animals, this land should be dug up, ploughed. So where are the animals? It's, for me, a landscape is a waste if it's not being put to some use. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Well, this is, it, it's, otherwise it's just eye candy. It's nature, it's for us to just behold this, nature. You don't have to plough up every bit of land that's not being used. Um, exactly, so why don't we get some sheep and uh, get some oxes, oxen, and uh, put this grass to some use, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So it's, you know, yeah. it is decadent to have so much land where it's not producing wool or meat or milk and this the, the woods they produce you know they produce wood to build houses and so on floorboards so uh, it has a, a legitimate function if it where it's just aesthetic it is not as legitimate as it would be if it had. Are you shaking your head? Yeah. <laughs> all, those, all those poor starving people in Africa and we're decadent, we misuse, we misuse our land. Your view is very human centric. There are other, be other creatures on the planet that enjoy having trees just growing as they are. So aesthetically this this landscape is one of views. It is uh, line of sight. Um, so it's incorporated the landscape beyond, way beyond the borders of, of its land. So these lines of sight very often end in a church tower. And there's another one. I've forgotten the name of that village over there. But there you've got an example. That's beautifully framed in that in that neoclassical archway. A neoclassical archway that doesn't hold up a wall. So it's an artificial, an artificial, it's an artifact, artistic artifact in the landscape. So it has the, it has the, the permanency of, of the landscape. Nothing is more permanent than a church spire. In the landscape, it's, it is the, the, a symbol, even if Christianity disappears in this country, its churches will remain. park itself and I'm now heading towards Daglingworth because there are within these fields of Iron Age and Bronze Age elements. There's a Bronze Age barrel that I have a look at. 
which uh, might prove interesting. This barrow contained an interment. I didn't know there was a uh, a rock cairn in in the centre of this. It isn't in in the record. Uh, it was it, again. This shows the value of going out into the field to have a look. The the barrow exists on a on a boundary, a parish boundary. Though it is unlikely that Daglingworth, the the parish that overlooks, the 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 village that overlooks, would have existed when this was built, but it might have done. We don't know. The the convention is that the uh, prehistoric people farmed up on up on the hills, and it's only when the English came that they settled in the valleys. Uh, though that is yet to be fully decided upon. There's lots of information to suggest something much older goes on down in the down in the valleys, but as a rule of thumb, that seems to be the case. It doesn't mean, however, that the important man or woman that was buried here didn't possess that land down in the valley uh, and that it was that land down in the valley wasn't important to them i talk about the name daglingworth in in my in my previous video this landscape here is is either iron age or romano british you can um there is evidence to show hut circles and so on uh, and then as we go towards Sirencester, there are um, Romano British burials and Anglo-Saxon burials. It's a very interesting landscape. That field is the, is the Tump. And if you look at um, old maps or the Tithe Award maps, and you see a field called Tump, all the burials are dead men dead or whatever. Go and have a look at them, if you can get to them. This is a public footpath here, though incidentally, again, it's crisscrossed with permissive paths, which I uh, didn't know anything about, and I'm glad I found out about them. So it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Chitra. I hope to see you on the next one. Uh, if you liked this video, please watch this video next. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. ta -ra for now. Hi! <laughs> Are you waiting for me? Ah. No, because it's from the when you say watch the next one, there's 20 seconds until the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs>